morning YouTube. I uh, want to give you guys a little update. As you can see, I'm starting on the leveling. Uh, I got a superside sand mixture and uh, just coming through, tossing it out, using this to sort of spread it, trying to find all my low spots and uh, slinging sand into them. You know, you sort of sling it with your shovel and then going back over and smoothing it. Um, got a big spot right there that I'm a little worried about it's a it's probably about a four or five inch hole there but grass is growing in it so I've got it uh, I've got it filled with sand that may kill it but I may try to take a little bit out of that so that some of the grass is still poking through really good I'm gonna water it and see how it does but whoops sorry I keep messing up there with the camera I apologize so anyway uh, got my buddy Brian here. That's his equipment from uh, Sagebrook uh, Landscaping here in Charlotte. He was uh, nice enough to come over and give me a hand today. Um, so he's out getting another load in the back. I had two of the big packages of leveling mix delivered from uh, Superside. And, uh, <clears throat> and we're about halfway through the first one. <laughs> We've thrown a lot out. Um, show you this too. As you recall, there's some areas down here where I, uh, I sodded. As you can see the side there and there's another patch of side right there that's really coming good but all this area is where google fiber had their actual machine when they were pushing the uh the line through there's the other piece of side up there that one is not doing as well um but it's still alive so um we've had some nasty heat here it's been 101 degrees the last two or three days on top of everything else we've been having no rain in forever um, so I'm watering, uh, you know, 20 minutes of zone every day right now, trying to keep this, this thing going, um, especially once I got side down, but I'm taking this and filling in these spots that are, that are bare where their machinery sort of tore things up. Uh, you can see the zoysia's trying to run back into those areas, but I, you know, I think that sand is going to help it. And, uh, so that'll be a little thing we can keep our eyes on the rest of the season and see how it does. Uh, I'll get a, a little bit more video here at the end when I'm done, but just wanted to get you to start. All right, guys, just finishing up. Um, don't let anybody fool you. Uh, that's a lot of work. Um, but I'll give you guys a look here. I'll get a wide angle. Um, these are all the spots that were really low. That spot right there is still low, but I'm afraid to put a whole lot down at one time. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna do that, let it settle down and push through and then probably come back through with a second batch. Um, I fixed the areas where when Google, I think I've told you guys, Google Fiber messed up stuff down here. But when they came, they also did a run right through here. And then I stopped them because they were supposed to do it down here and made them redo it. But this area here, they had dug out. So I sort of leveled that out a little bit because it was still messed up. Uh, I came through, hit, I even hit little areas like this that were sort of just a little light on, uh, um, a little bare spots and I just put some in there and spread it out sort of thin. I'm going to see if that helps it sort of, you know, spread out into those areas a little more. Um, but this through here was really bad. This is where my mower would just, you know, bounce the whole way or all across this whole ridge of my yard right here. Um, so we've got it in here and I ran the leveling rake over it a bunch and now I'm going to, uh, water it. And then we have some, thank God, some rain coming for the next few days. Uh, the only thing I didn't get was I didn't get these spots down here. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be done with that um, probably on the next, the next time around. Um, I, uh, I got two bags of leveling mix and uh, between what we did here and what we did out back, we used all of one bag. And so, uh, must've missed that spot. And so now I'm going to uh, uh, come back through and, and, uh, and, and do a second round in a few weeks maybe, or it might be next season, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna tread lightly here. I'm afraid to do too much at once, as you can see here. Um, now I'm looking at this, I actually think I'm gonna go get the broom and sort of go over this with the broom and see if it can push it down in there a little better just to be safe. So um, stay tuned. If there's another part of this video, it'll be me with the broom. If there's not, it's too hot and I gave up, but uh, I doubt that, so see you guys soon. Okay guys, I'm back again. Um, this seems to be the ticket, just a standard rake. But you can see, like where I've used it, more of the grass is poking back through. 
like over here. See all that area versus I just started in this section. You can see more grass is poking through versus down there. It's all pretty compacted from that lawn uh, rate, that leveling rate. So I think that I'm going to go ahead and hit these other spots with this thing. Um, it's getting hot out here, so I'm, I'm to the point where I'm gonna do it and get done. Um, but I think this is the way to go. Um, I don't really know if all the grass needs to poke through or just some of it that you know can get some some sunlight down there. Um, my assumption is if you get it fairly spread out and then you get rain or heavily water your areas, it should settle down some from that. But, uh, but I'll know here shortly. I'm going to uh, water. We're supposed to get rain over the next few days. There's a chance of thunderstorms. I just don't know how much that'll be. Um, so I think I'm gonna finish this up hitting those spots right there and right over there with the, with the rake and then uh, water it in and see what happens. All right, guys, last video for right now. This, uh, this is sort of the end product. Um, you can see a lot of it's already ran down. I watered it um, and brushed it with that brush and got a lot of it down. To be honest with you, I feel like I, there's a couple spots like down there that I feel like I need to do more with the broom. But uh, we're expecting quite a bit of rain to come through, so I think I'm gonna let the rain hit it and uh, um, I've called it a day for today. It's about 100 degrees here right now. So um, I think that uh, late this afternoon or tomorrow, I may hit it with the brush again, just to make sure that I thin that out a little bit because I feel like that one's too thick. But other spots did really well, as you can see. Like that, that broom, that broom is the way to go. I think the leveling, the leveling rake helps get it all spread out, but then hitting it with that broom is really nice. So that would be my suggestion if you do it. Um, all right, well, we will keep an eye on this and uh, we're supposed to get rain the rest of the week, actually. So uh, I'll shoot, I may just uh, shoot, wait and, and shoot a little later in the week and put this all up at one time. But if not, I'll put a separate video up behind this one. Thanks everybody. Hope you had a good 4th of July. All right, YouTube. Um, it is July 9th, um, about one o'clock during the day. Um, I, I did the, uh, the original leveling on Saturday. Um, We've had a decent amount of rain Saturday evening, Sunday, all rained pretty heavily. Um, I, uh, I came back out here, um, pretty much every afternoon. Uh, the rain, I couldn't do much with it because it was wet, but as it's dried out, I've come back out every afternoon. Uh, I'll give you an example. Just sort of come through these sections and just lightly back and forth with this to work the sand down in there even more as it's dried. Um, you can see more and more grass popping through. So I'm just trying to keep an eye on these areas that had quite a bit of sand in them. Um, as you can see here, sorry, doing this with one hand is not as easy, but just trying to help the grass just sort of poke through here. Um, some of my yard was bad enough that there's no doubt I'm gonna have to have multiple attempts here with the uh, with leveling. So I'm not looking to get this all done at once. Um, these spots over here were really light um, and I'm really just sort of filling them in to see if I can get some, some horizontal growth going into some better soil or something. Um, but as you can see, just sort of coming out and working it down in here a little bit more each day. Um, I think I'm going to end this video here and post it and then we can track it as it goes. But as you can see, it's uh it's looking a lot better than it did i walk out to these areas um like here's an area that needs some more you can tell it's just it's got wet um but as you can see here it's pushing down in there better um admittedly i've got a couple spots that i know are going to need more sand like this spot right here um you might be able to see on the camera you can tell there's still a dip there, but that was severe. And uh, and I'm just trying to get it a little bit at a time. But to give you an example here, um, more of just working it in. I think it's to a point now that there's enough grass poking through that you know everything should come up. Um, God knows, I hope so, because I don't want to ruin what I do have out here. Uh, this was in good shape, but you know the leveling definitely had to be done. So anyway, I'm gonna stop it right here. I'll probably hit it again a few more times as the week goes on to help it work it down in there. 
Um, and then I'll post an update in a few weeks and let's see what it's done. Talk to you guys later.